Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public News Podcast. Uh, I am honored, honored to have E. Arenas Eduardo come in here. Uh, man, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Uh, I love Oxnard. I love being here. Uh, just, I mean, just uh, the traffic really sucks from L.A., but, you know, uh, <laughs> I have friends here. I've always passed through here. You know, um, it's roots. You know what I'm saying? So um, I also, like, with my band, you know, it's like, I want to go to the spaces that there's no music scenes, like traditional music scenes, you know, and just try to like, you know, build it with the people just by interest and like having a great time, having a great night, having memorable nights, you know. And to me, I was like, man, Oxnard is so close to L.A. How come we get no love? So for me, it's just like, man, let's go out to Oxnard and let's like let's bring bands and let's, you know, and it's like a this big vision kind of thing. But it's like once you open the path and other bands come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's. I want to say that I'm, I want to be a part of that. Oh, man, I'll tell you are because, you know, uh, I have a lot of bands that come through here, and, yeah. you know, talk about a memorable moment. Uh, the first time you came here, you know, I didn't really know what to expect, and, you know, because I'd been back in Maryland for 30 years, and oh. and then, you know, and then uh, you're, you're down here, we're talking, and next thing I know, the place is packed, there's a line out there and everything, and this is like, wow, man, and then when you took that stage, it was just, it was incredible, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the the vibe that you brought, and then, you know, and definitely it's like one of the top memories I have since I've started doing music here, you yeah. know, and thank you so much, man, for, for coming back. So I remember talking to Eric, I was like, yeah, we got to get Arenas back, get him yeah. back, and thank you for coming out, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's super cool. Um, yeah, it's like what we're doing with this band right now is just like giving no fucks, you yeah. know, but with like, what would be Mexican folklore music? <laughs> right, right. You know, it's yeah. just like, you know, it's like rosemary on pizza and shit. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit all meat. But it's that rosemary, it's that classic, it's that classic flavor, you know? Yeah. And for us, cumbia is that classic flavor. And it's just the forms of communication, Yeah. you know? And, um, and it's cool to communicate, you know, whatever you want behind a cumbia, especially about food. That's what I do. Yeah. Food, weed, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, uh, yeah, I love it. Man, yeah, so, you know, you've been in, obviously at this uh, for a long time, man, and uh, my, my guess one, the one question I really wanted to ask you is, you know, what, well, how, how did you get inspired to, to become, you know, who you are today? Like, what inspired you as a young age to, you know, pick up the bass and, and get into the music scene? Man, you know, to answer it differently, I think my, my, my uncles played in, band, in a band that just played around, uh, like, parties for the for the family or quinceañeras things like that and my, all my uncles i mean it's like three of them they would play drums keyboard and bass and i was a little kid so i would be the little kid like filling up their their the glass containers of, of, of beer the big old budweiser yeah. on the glass i was just a proud five-year-old six-year-old going to fill up their beer cups bring it back to them you know like hey, could you plug this in yeah so I would just be around, you know, so I didn't grow up with a father. So they were like the dudes for me, yeah. you know, so watching them, I was just like, OK, you know, but it, but I didn't play anything. You know, I was just around the rhythm, around the, the, the vibe. And then uh, I picked up playing guitar like when I was 13. And then and then I took a, a class like an entry before going to high school. And then I was like pfft, smoking, just like I was just fast. And I was yeah. like, oh, I can learn anything now. And then Metallica was the next thing I learned, like all the Metallica songs they possibly could. And it just became an encyclopedia. It's solos. I was like, that was my thing. I just love solos. And so I just took off, you know, and I think, uh, I think a lot of teenagers like me just have a lot of like maybe rage or maybe a lot of like, um, you're just, you don't know, you, you don't have anybody to turn to or Confusion, you're not vulnerable. Yeah. You're confused, you know, yeah. the puberty and shit like that, all that. Um, popularity, all that kind of thing is really... Especially with social media today. Oh, I, I can't imagine. Back yeah. then, it was already bad, you know? Yeah. You turn to metal because shit's bad, you know? Or you just want, you need an outlet. And um, so I found my outlet, and I think that's what it was. I found my outlet, and I think people today need to find their outlet yeah. in whatever it is because this world is crazy, and it's not meant to be so linear, like work, you know, pay bills, and, uh, you know, watch your favorite TV show. Yeah. It's all still part of the system, you know? And I think... Um, yeah, you have to find your outlet um, for for that release because, man, that release is uh, is one of a kind. You know, yeah, it's absolutely. spiritual, absolutely. and um, and we're lucky to to tap in. You know, it's so like like you know, some people can hear better than others. Some people can see better than others. Some people can feel the spirit more than other people. Um, it's all that stuff is so undeveloped. It's because we also don't give like 
the spirit a chance sometimes. I agree. You know, I so agree, it's just 100%. like, you know, give the spirit a chance and it'll guide you to like what your calling is or, or that kind of thing. And I think like, I don't think playing music is my calling, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's playing gi music gives me a voice, Yeah. you know, and that voice, I don't know what, 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 where it's going to go next, but I feel, I feel that lucky to have that voice where people are listening. Yeah. You know, I'm like, dang, that's cool. We can go on a ride then. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's like for me, you know, when I decided to fly from the inside and, and to do my own thing here, you know, I, I, the, my love of music, you know, I don't play an instrument or anything like that. I played football when I was younger and, but uh, all the way through college. But, you know, now that I have this chance and I had this venue and I was like, and during COVID and I started playing live music because I stayed open and fought the government and everything. So, I, you know, I, and I stayed open for the people and I started playing this live music outside. Just, and then it would go through the harbor. Next thing you know, it's packed and Damn. it turned into this. And now, you know, honored to have someone like you come in here and play so it's like you know you got to find that 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 passion you got to find something you know what i mean to release you yeah. know and 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 you're so right man talking about that it's just because once you find that and you and you get in that zone it's almost like you know you that that calling kind of type of thing you know you're right yeah. you know and you just and you keep going at it and when you do that good things happen man yeah you really know you're good. right and then everybody else is very dismissive around it because they haven't found their thing yeah you know it's just like why do you think i'm practicing four hours a day i'm i'm only 14 like why would you know it's just like i'm locked in like you know and then and then people will remind you like we grew up because i went to school to go to college that was my since i was five years old it's like you're gonna go to college you know and you know, immigrant parents that whole thing and so i never had an option to suck at school so yeah. i had to kick ass always you know but then at the same time, it's like, fuck, I'm also badass at playing guitar. Like, I, and I love it, you know? And, um, but, and it's cool, but in society, you're like, well, you know, once you get a real job, you know what I'm saying? That's just all going to, well, when you get a family, that all becomes secondary. <clears throat> and I'm put in a position, especially with this band, Chicano Batman, where it's just like, you know, it's not secondary. <laughs> it's not, it's not reality for me Damn. at all. And I can't. And it's, it's good to stand on top of that mound and claim it because it's just like, you know, this is actually my calling. This is part of my calling. Like, uh, you know, I'm tapped in. And uh, there's a lot of sacrifice with family, man. I have a, I have a, a wife and I have a four-year-old. So, and then he's starting TK. So there's a lot of scheduling. Like yeah, scheduling, yeah. like you see as a play the form or whatever. But, you know, sometimes I'm up there and I'm like, okay, so right now it's bedtime you know it's yeah. just like yeah. i wonder if he's going to sleep right you know so it's just like you know that's what we're really like putting down and uh, it's it's very humbling it's very humbling because it's like oh i'm gonna do this with like this little boy growing next to me you know saying this is like this is it like we're in it yeah. we're in it and it's just like not to be scared of it and embrace it and um you know yeah it's it's uh it's wild it's been a wild ride but uh i feel very blessed uh, and i feel very blessed um to be here not not all owners are cool you know for their venues like you or have a podcast about the culture that's coming through your spot yeah. and that's what's happening you know uh, i want to see what people are wearing you know what i'm saying i want to yeah. see how how old they are oh yeah i want to see who's singing along i want to know like a lot of people that come to the shows they don't know anything and they're just in the back smiling and i'm like got you yeah. oh, you know i'm yeah. like got you and then whoever i see that's just like you know not in it i'm just gonna go after them and it's just part of like you know, I've, I've learned throughout the years that people want to move. They just need a, the license to do it. Yeah. And so you just give them the key, like, move. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, it's really weird. I, so I got to tell you a story. That this is this is great. So when you played here last time, you know, I was doing the lights and I was just Oh, you were doing and, the lights. You yeah. had just gotten it. Yeah. yeah, yeah That's just got, yeah, right. I, I remember that. You were having fun. Yeah. And, and I was following your vibe and everything. And, you know, the first song, right, when you could, you know, you played this little, like, little hypnotic type, like, electric thing for about two or three minutes and you're like oh this is dumb shit and then you started to go down and then everybody started just jumping right well there were these three homeboys over there they were hard you know what i mean they were yep. dancing for nothing like this but second song they're kind of like this third song they're like you know, throwing yeah, down it's like you know what i mean like dope. you like you got them you yeah. know what i mean and there wasn't a, so a person in that place dude that uh when you played here that wasn't in it by the third song and it's you know, and you don't see too many people that, that can get on that stage, man, and just and grab people like that. Like you said, they don't even know. I didn't. Yeah. I had no idea, and I was just like, man, I'm a fan for life now. You know, yeah, and it's just, but, but but everybody got that feeling, and you know, it's just like, you know, and you, you know, show after show when we have them here at night. Sometimes at the end of the night, people are like, oh, thanks, and they just leave. But some people, you know, are coming like, 
thank you so much. It meant so much to me. And like, they leave inspired, you know, yeah. they leave no matter what's going on bad in their life. They yeah. leave here happy, you know, yeah. and that, thank you, man, for having that, oh, that gift man. to, to, to that's truly a gift, man, you know, to, you. to be able to do that. And, you know, your spirit's very, very strong and powerful and, you know, and alive and it's, it's touching a lot of people, man. It oh, really man is. I, I appreciate that, man. You know, um, it's been a good year, man. And, um, you know, it's like, um, you know, I'm from Boyle Heights, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and shit like this just doesn't happen to, to people from, you know, from our walks of life. And, uh, you know, I, I got to do the opening pitch at the Dodgers. You know, we just played the forum, man. Yeah. Um, you know, we were on, on Jimmy Kimmel. Um, just a lot of crazy shit like that has been happening. And uh, and it's like, I feel it's, it's, it's a dope experience for all this to be going through me because I represent so many people's struggles, not just mine. Yeah. And... Uh, and struggle to find their own voice, you know, struggle to break out of the mold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're all molded, you know, uh, for so many goddamn fucking years. That's why people we turn to punk, we turn to metal, we're like, man, fuck your mold. You know, I'm like, I'm trying to do my own shit, you know, and I don't fit in your mold. I never have, and I'm getting punished. Yeah. This whole fucking, my whole life for trying to fit into your shit. So it's like, we're trying to find our own mold and coexist because we could do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, you know, but some of it is a little weird, man. You know, and yeah. some are a little fluffy, and some are a little, a little raw. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's our contribution to society. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely. You know, fascism is, is you know, it, it, we're all trying to fight fascism, yeah. you know, and globalization and genocide. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So like, let our spirits sing. You know, let us play our music. Let us express, because all that other politic bullshit, it's not working. You know, yeah. you got to chase the dollar. You know, we're all programmed to, to run this way. And, you know, yep. so we're gonna say like, nah, fuck that. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree. It, yeah. well, that's, I mean, well said. I mean, yeah, I you know, another thing I was thinking man. when you were asking me earlier about like um, getting those three fools, you know, the, the hard fools yeah. to move. I think the, I was just thinking about how, how, why does that happen with our music? And I feel like our music, the common denominator is like knuckleheads, you know, it's like food, it's like cumbia, it's like bad habits, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, it's like, common experiences that you're like oh yeah i hate it when that happens you know <laughs> I, I like to talk about those simple little things because they're relatable to everybody and it's just like they don't got to work so hard you yeah. know so it's just like yo shared experience and then it also happens that i have happen to have like a band of thick as musicians like these guys play like with like five bands each yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And others have their own bands. Like Austin, the keyboard player, he's in big fun. He's a fucking most. He's a genius. Like, he's wicked. Yeah. He's wild. And, uh, and you know, Chip, my right-hand guy, he plays with Tropa Magica, other bands. He has, like, five bands right now. He knows the repertoire to, like, five bands. You know? Drummers, like, five, seven bands. I don't know. It, it, so it's like everybody's behind this vision. Yeah. And that's what's cool. And I get the, the, the baddest fools because I'm like... Fuck all your fucking like. Don't do all that complicated shit. Right here, we're playing major chords and we're riffing, but like we just know where it needs to happen and how to write dynamic, how to go down, how to take solos, how to put a show. You know, so it's like that's kind of like the school of yeah, Arenas. It's just like, man, fuck your jazz theory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> use your jazz theory for the dynamics or delivery or whatever but we're not playing major seven we're not playing major 13s you know we're doing like triads we're doing major chords for only, minor like you know it's it, we call it success chords like yeah. success chords only bro so it's it's it and it's all in the bounce and then it's all in the in the drive yeah. you know so it's like we focus <clears throat> that we focus the energy somewhere else as opposed to so that the plane is unlocked but the energy picks yeah. up and it's uh it's cool to be able to do it in, in, in real life, man. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a gift, man. And we do it tonight. Gift. Oh, you know? you're going to, no doubt about it, man. There's people lined up outside That's already, dope, you know. Man. And, and, you know, oh, that yeah. in, for, for people watching, especially the younger kids, you know, I want to I go back to something that you said earlier. You know, you said it at a young age, you know, at five years old, you know, you, you kind of had that feeling, right? Yeah. And, and, you, and you never left sight of that. And that's why you're here now. You know, and I think a lot of younger kids these days start losing sight, you know, with all this, this stuff that's brought into them. You know what I mean? And, and stay true to yourself. And, you know, you know, if you do, this is what happens, man. This is what happens. And, uh, you know, I'm so proud of you, man, for your success. Thank I'm, you, I'm just proud to have you here and sharing your talents with everybody here and your spirit, man. And, uh, you know, it's very powerful. And, uh, you know, I can't thank you enough. I really man. can't thank you enough. Thank you, man. You know, back to about, about the, the youth, man. I've learned a couple of things just like 
you know, how to articulate a few things. My friend Federico was talking to me about this shit one time, and and um, and it was like, you don't have to suffer to make art. You know, you don't have to be suffering to make a sad song. You know, I think people sometimes put themselves through something or to try to get a certain result out of it, or like my music ain't that cool because I'm not really like poor and homeless or whatever the fuck, or I'm not really like you know burning churches and shit, black metal church, yeah. metal band or whatever it is. It's just like. The art form is its own thing. You know what I'm saying? And you could tap into it through different ways. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to put yourself through that shit to get that kind of that kind of result, you know? Yeah. And I think that's super important. Um, the other one I learned a lot throughout the years, you know, if we're talking to youth, is ask for help, you know, in anything. Yeah. You know, develop that relationship with yourself and asking for help because, you know, it's only like I'm, I'm 42 now. And I'm like, I've only been asking for help for like the last, like, I don't know, three years or something. Right, you know, and right. I'm like, dude, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but if you ask for help, people, people, you see people's spirit also open up, you know, yeah. and you make connections that last a lifetime, you know, and, um, and we can't do it alone. And that's the other thing, too. I think we're going too individualist. Like everything is too, so super individualistic right now. Yeah. Solo bands like mine. But I don't, you know, I'm saying it's just like, um, it's 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 always a collaborative effort solo like going solo means there's like 15 people behind that shit right you know what I'm saying there's it's a collaborative effort um in music it's like in bands man i learned just just fo- know your own role man you know centers are centers forwards are forwards power forwards are fucking banging down there for yeah. a reason yeah. you know what i'm saying you're a guard bro yeah. you know what i'm saying like you know they're gonna bang you up down there you know you can stay up top Know your spot, you know, like you, you shoot fucking good. Like, I'm gonna throw you the ball all the time, yeah, so we can win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, um, I use a lot of basketball and and music to like uh, bands kind of dynamics to kind of explain how how shit works. But man, some it, like if you if you have a vision, I think that's what it is. If you got a vision, try it out, yeah, you know, because it withers, yeah, don't be afraid of it, don't, don't be, be afraid, afraid of it. it. The vision, it, and it, embrace will, it. it will also leave you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It'll fucking leave you. And then you'll just be like, man, I thought about that one time. I had that. That'll keep coming, you know, because that, that idea, it, you know, it leaves and it goes somewhere else. Somebody else catches it. Yeah. And um, that's what I think is also cool. Like, like, even John to like, man, that would be cool if I would just do that. And then be like, fuck, let me do it right now. Yeah. And then just like go. I try that exercise all the time. Like, man, I should really like hit that full up talent about that one time. And I was like, Damn, am I really gonna do it right now? <laughs> and then you get it out of your mind, yeah. you know, and then you watch something grow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of little exercises. Like you, you'll see that. Know. Like for me, that's everywhere here. You know, they get every piece of art, everything you see, I made, and it's like yeah, I get that here? vision, everything, every, Damn, to every bro. table, to every everything you see. And so sometimes I get like these visions in my head, and then and if I don't do it, I get upset. But when I do it, it produces things. You know, these there's the art and different things like the stage and there's the music and yeah you know, i get that feeling just go for it you know yeah. so what i got to lose you know and there's I mean? also like, there's something there's like something uh two steps ahead of that one thing mm-hmm. that you haven't seen yet yeah. you're like oh shit i can't believe now i'm getting these these kind of gigs because i did that one thing i didn't even expect to blah 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 you know yeah, it's like yourself like so you're at the forum you know what i mean it's like <laughs> and you know it's funny because i tell people hey, it's kind of batman you know everybody knows and they're talking about the forum and like oh yeah, well, Ian Reid's coming here. Like coming here, like yeah, you know. I was like, yeah, yeah, this is my man. And he's coming to play, and I was all stoked. And there were people just like, wow. It's like, you know. And uh, see, that's cool. Like I, I'm just doing it. I don't, I don't know the the hype around it. I mean, when I promote on IG, we're just like all hype. You know, it's all hype. It's like come join the party. I mean, that's what you gotta you gotta will what it is you want to see happen. Yeah. And that's the other thing too, man. Willpower is so strong, man. It's like try your own will, and, and uh, you know it, it'll suck. Sometimes, but goddamn, the bigger picture, man. It's like anything I've ever gotten, man. I just willed it towards me, and um, you know, it's like when we played the shrine, bro. When I got off stage, I was like, forum. I was just like, forum, yeah. you know. And I was like, just make it happen. I was like, I'm not even flinching. Like that's the next move, and you know. And then you know, a year and a half later, we're there or whatever, two years. It's just like, you know, if you want something to make happen, like, aim at it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't just fucking expect a miracle to happen. You gotta aim at the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Like, no one's gonna give it to shit. you. Yeah. You know, like be vulnerable about it too. Express other people about it. Other people can help you out. Like, oh, I, I have, I know somebody in that. Like, what? Yeah. You know, that world is cool, man. People, you know, relating to each other, yeah. helping each other. Yep. Helping each other is dope, man. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of help out there. You know, you just got to go out and connect. Yeah, and you never know. You know, but like I said, you got to get out and connect. You know, if you don't ever get out and connect, then you never know. You know, and a lot of people just don't. You know, they're, they're afraid to just 
like say ask for that help or call someone they don't really know or you know take in a new friendship and because you never know you know you never know you just you know don't ever judge anybody by what what you just you see because behind what you see is something amazing sometimes you know and change your life you know you know bro i i was a urban planner for five years in la and i shirt and tie you know hair slicked back my long hair like an office and then i leave work at 5 30 and just like straight to rehearsal and shit smoke weed fucking put my shit down blah, 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 back to work you know and it was this two life thing you know and um five years of that i was just like man you know what i'm rotting in here i was like i got the salary i got the house i got all i got the whole dream you know and i i uh you know i walked away from it man okay. and i restarted it you know good to, for to you be more tapped in to to just more simple things it's like not in Spanish, we call it el mitote. It's just like the big, the big dream, the big myth. You know, the big, the house, the American dream. Right, it's the right. fucking mitote. So it's like you realize sometimes you're living the life of somebody else, like the life your parents want, and you think that's it, but it really ain't it. You know, yeah. that's what they wanted for you. And um, and at some point, it's like, damn, you know, you you wake up. Yep. You know, you're like, fuck. What did I want? I've always wanted to do this shit, but no one ever told me it was cool. You know, <laughs> that's that voice you got to chase, and that's yeah. the hard part because. It's like swimming upstream, you know. Yeah. You feel alone in that shit. Cause it's unnatural. You're like, fuck. Yeah. Everyone's telling me not to do it, but like, I, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. It's like during the pandemic, you know, everybody shut down, and I had to make a decision, and I stayed open, you Damn. know. And then that turned into a, a, a major deal, you know. That turned into me getting charged with murder for t- killing people in the neighborhood because I was open. They tried to evict me. Whoa. They did like like two or three restraining orders, and I was going to court and the whole the whole nine yards. You know, this went on for about eight months of my life but during there you know i reached out to other business i started this business coalition brave and it went from you know three businesses to like 500 to 1500 members it's just like it was like three or four months and it became you know now we're speaking all over the the state of different people and you know it became like this you know an advocate for staying open and Damn. and it ended up you know long story short beating the county you know what i mean but i knew it that, that at the very beginning there was a calling saying dude you're doing the right thing staying open don't don't ever let that back. You know what I mean. And I stayed and fought the whole way, and I beat them. You know what I mean. Dude, you, they you were beat fighting them, so. in the COVID era. Yeah, it, it was, was crazy. black and white COVID, man. It was crazy, dude. It was crazy. It's like you're you're like, if you try to stay open or you try to fight the whole thing, you're just crazy. See, that, it, it's weird, man. It's yeah. just like having gone through COVID, and like, who's really crazy? Yeah. Like, what the hell just happened right now? Yeah. Why why is like majority you know big population of the world vaccinated now? Yeah, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm always like that's some AI juice yeah I ain't touching you know, that, that shit never no way fucking brain. that's where I'll program now oh yeah I never touched that thing you know <laughs> never now we think it that shit's on our stream our IG and shit like damn I just thought it I didn't even say it out loud right that fucking vaccine bro <laughs> yeah who knows what they put in, in you man who oh, knows man. It's, a, it's a sad topic yeah. Talk about that shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, but you know, we made it through, and you know, that's that's why I have music here. You yeah, know what I mean? Dope, but, man. And like you said, one thing leads to another. You yeah. know, I didn't plan to have music. I just fought, fought the government to stay open, and then <laughs> and here comes the music because that's what everybody loves. And exactly right. <laughs> you just try. You just like music, but you have to do all this other shit. Oh yeah. That's like, what ends up happening too. I sold my soul to have music here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. sold my soul to have music here. Yeah. It's just like, but if it was worth the sale, you know what I mean? But that's what my soul had to go do then. Go do it. And, you know, we brought a lot of happiness to people around here, man. Oh, you you played football in college? Yeah. Like American football? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What position were you? Quarterback. Damn. Yeah, I played Division One, Bat Towson University in Maryland. And then. Uh, Bat Tells? Uh, what's that? What was that school called? Towson. T O W S O N. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's right. I'm in Baltimore, it's Division One school. And, man, it was, yeah, it was funny. I was 3,000 miles away at 19 years old, drove the 3,000 miles and playing football and all over the, the East Coast. And, wow, <laughs> yeah. bro. And then, you know, staying back there for 30 years. I married, I have three kids now, and ended up getting, going through a divorce and then raising the kids pretty much on my own. And, uh, uh, yeah, then my dad had to own this place and uh, he got Alzheimer's. So I was kind of running it from Maryland. Yeah. And then, you know, I was just, just to afford them really you know and then COVID hit and that's when you know I renovated the whole place put my touch on it and then I said I couldn't open again and I was like no I'm opening I'm opening and I stayed open and then that's when that all started wow. man yeah fucking quarterback dude yeah that's wicked at division one yeah it's, it's, yeah you got something special too bro you got a fighting power bro <laughs> that's crazy man mm-hmm. any concussions what's that you ever get any concussions yeah, probably like seven or eight. Oh, at least, shit. At least. Yeah, there's some big boys out there, dude. You know dude, what I mean? There's some big boys out there. for you, bro. Yeah, especially you're standing still. You know what I mean? Yeah, they just, you know, you're, you're vulnerable. They're, wow, on their back. Yeah. You don't even know. You wake up and you're like, 
you know, you had a game, you didn't yeah. know what you ate for breakfast, you don't know anything, you know? Wow. <laughs> it was like, wow. crazy. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Again, thanks for having Dude, me. Dude, thank you so much, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. So, hey, uh, guys, at Uranus, you know, legend, and, uh, you know, there's going to be so much more to come from you. You've got so thank much you, more man. to offer and bring, man, and I'm just so excited to, to know you, follow you, and, and, and be part of your journey, and, you know, I'm glad we met, man. Thank you. Likewise, yeah. man. Thank Absolutely. you. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely. All right, guys, have a good night. Thank you.